Hi, in today's video I want to talk about X uh, chromosome inactivation, about bar bodies formation and if you know what is a, a X chromosome inactivation and what is a bar body you can uh, solve uh, all these uh, present problems on your own and today's question is how many bar bodies would you expect to see in the human cells containing the following chromosomes you can, if you know the answers or how to solve it, you can stop video here and you can take a sheet of paper and try to solve. First you have to say what the gender of the person and how many bar bodies uh, would be formed. And I will proceed with my explanation and you can later um, run the video and compare your answer with my explanation. So here is my explanation. First of all, I want to um, explain what is a bar bodies is. And bar bodies is uh, whenever is female, uh, zygote is formed, and uh, we have uh, one X chromosome donated from the father side and another uh, chromosome donated from the mother side. So this is female zygote, as you see, because it has two X chromosomes. But um, as long as zygote starts to starts to divide uh, through the process of mitosis, uh, so um, one of the uh, X chromosome would be inactivated. As you see, uh, it, this process process is random. And, uh, for example, here you see red X chromosome that came from the mother side and uh, the other one that came from the father side forms bar body and get inactivated and this uh, process also called um, X chromosome uh, uh, compensation uh, mechanism and um, here you see another cell with uh, X chromosome that uh, this female got from the father side and the other chromosome formed bar body. So each one of these uh, uh, cells may uh, later form uh, lines of cells where uh, these uh, chromosomes would be present and uh, chromosomes uh, from the uh, say mother side or father side would be inactivated. So uh, all the uh, females are mosaic for this uh, characteristic and some of the cell lines have uh, uh, X chromosome from the father side uh, active and uh, from the mother side inactive and vice versa. So uh, bar body were uh, discovered uh, by the Canadian scientist Murray Barr and um, I also want to say that any um, anywhere where you see Y chromosome present this is should be phenotypically male and wherever you see um, only X chromosomes present this should be female, no matter how many X chromosomes. And um, also, bar body would be formed um, when uh, you see more than one X chromosome. So I want to put here, this would be normal female and uh, one X chromosome would form bar body. And here would be normal male and no bar bodies would be formed because this is only one X chromosome so no compensation mechanism is needed and uh, here see this is a genetic disorder it's called Turner syndrome or X chromosome monosomy and this happens uh, one birth uh, new birth uh, um, in 2000-5000 females and um, as long as there is only one X chromosome, so this is going to be female and zero bar bodies would be formed. 
and D. This is also a genetic disorder. It's called Klinefelter syndrome. It happens in one from 500 to 1000 uh, newborns of the males. This is going to be a male because Y chromosome is present. So this is going to be male and one bar body would be formed. And E, uh, this is a um, variant of the Klinefelter syndrome. This uh, happens, uh, phenotypically this is going to be a male and um, such disorder happens one in 17,000 uh, births and uh, as long as we see Y chromosome present, this is going to be male and we see two X chromosomes, so one of these would form bar body and F, uh, this is, um, we see three X chromosome and Y chromosome, so, so this means that this is also male and this happens one in 50,000 births and um, any chromosome more than one would form bar body. So here we can see two bar bodies. And um, G, this condition is called uh, extra Y chromosome and this is not considered to be a um, syndrome because uh, uh, males, uh, this is going to be male, uh, usually do not uh, produce any phenotypic, uh, phenotypical uh, signs, so they are normal, but there were research uh, about 20 years ago when in, in one of the prisons and uh, uh, information uh, we got from that research that there is abnormal number of uh, inmates that had um, extra Y chromosome syndrome, but later um, it was considered to be normal and it happens in uh, one male birth in 1000. So uh, uh, this is going to be zero bar bodies. And uh, next is triple X syndrome that happens one in uh, 1000 uh, female births and every day in United States from 5 to 10 uh, girls born with this syndrome and uh, this is would be female and two bar bodies would be formed and um, the last one I this is going to be female and um, it's called uh, tetra X syndrome and only 100 cases in the uh, whole world were registered and uh, this phenotype would produce three bar bodies. Um, I could um, stop here but I also want to provide some um, extra interesting information. Uh, for example, some uh, males, that is X, Y, have X and Y chromosome uh, develop uh, as females and this happens sometimes because uh, Y chromosome are missing uh, one important gene that called SRY gene that uh, uh, cause maleness so even if Y chromosome are present but uh, for example this gene would be damaged uh, missing some sequence in this uh, gene or any other mutation still such um, male phenotypically would develop as female and this is all for today please subscribe to my new videos I post new videos uh, two three videos every week and thank you for your attention and goodbye.